uh, it's bad. Good morning, everybody, or it's bad to say. Uh, so uh, let's talk a little bit about disasters. And uh, so this is me. Uh, like, this is my contact, uh, contact information here. Oh, uh, managed, just playing. <laughs> uh, and uh, so uh, let's talk a little bit, uh, a little bit about uh, disasters. So, why? Why it is important uh, to not to not only to talk about disasters, but also to be uh, to be somehow prepared and uh, somehow influence the situation. Just because we have a lot of them, uh, as you can see here, we we face rather uh, quite a drastic growth since uh, since the end of 1990s. Till the uh, till uh, 2023, as you can see, 2024 has uh, just like not just but begin. That's why um, we don't have uh, full data. And uh, uh, as you can see, so uh, the main uh, like the main uh, typically uh, we face floods, um, extreme weather conditions, uh, droughts. It's a little bit difficult to to decide. Uh, what's the drought in general? And uh, um, so, and from the uh, we we face not only uh, the growth uh, in um, uh, like uh, natural disasters number, but also um, you, as you can see, we have a lot of people uh, influ influenced by uh, with this disaster, and uh, uh, sometimes uh, even more than uh, six. 100 million people may be during the year may face uh, face problems or affected uh, by natural disasters. It, I guess it's a quite huge number. Uh, and so, uh, the next question: Who? And the answer is we. Uh, so quantum. Uh, as a geospatial data real-time risk management uh, risk management uh, company uh, helps uh, many many companies, but uh, with uh, with this very very project we help uh, we work with humanitarian open OpenStreetMap team to uh, to create and uh, now uh, the uh, I will try to answer the. The very uh, the the last very uh, important questions: How, with the help of Disaster Ninja, and uh, like what is uh, Disaster Ninja? It, uh, when you uh, so uh, when a, like uh, a disaster occurs, you uh, you shall. Uh, for open st uh, for uh, humanitarian open uh, open street team, uh, it's important to uh, like to make a decision. Is it necessary to uh, to uh, to ask uh, the community to uh, uh, help with uh, maps, or we have enough maps uh, and uh, to make a decision for, uh, on lo on the local level? And uh, so, with this, uh, with uh, to answer this question. Not in uh, not in hours, but in minutes, uh, help uh, helps Disaster Ninja. So this is uh, the uh, homepage of the Disaster Ninja. Uh, you can see, uh, like, oh, sorry, uh, analytical uh, anal uh, our uh, analytical panel uh, disasters, uh, our our uh, la uh, layers and uh, hot task management uh, manager projects. So, uh, and on the map you can see uh, a different uh, 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 task, uh, 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 sorry, uh, hot uh, manager, uh, hot manager project, uh, where where people uh, where people uh, mapping in general, and so. First of all, when you uh, when uh, for to make this decision, you you have to know what has happened, and uh, it's uh, uh, our uh, event feed with uh, disaster panel help 
helps to uh, to answer this question. So you can uh, you can find uh, you can find information about what uh, what uh, what kind of natural disaster happened in this uh, in this very part of the world uh, in uh, like today, yesterday, or even uh, two uh, up to to me up to two years ago. And then uh, you also probably want to get a notification because uh, not every time uh, you are uh, near the computer with uh, opened uh, with opened uh, uh, disaster ninja so you can get your notifications through slack uh, and then open disaster ninja and check what has happened and where uh, and uh, so how many people for example uh, affected by this disaster and get some more information uh, so uh, this informa information about uh, disaster, and <coughs> uh, one more thing, yeah. Uh, so uh, with this uh, with analytical uh, analytical panel, you can uh, get an answer for uh, your questions. So how, how many people affected, and uh, populated uh, populated area which is affected uh, by this disaster, and uh, like the state so to say the state of the map so uh how uh, is it uh, what uh, what is the um, mm, the state uh, of uh, open street map in this uh, in this region how many buildings uh, is uh, are mapped or uh, how many roads are mapped and so on and uh, so to answer all these questions uh, help our pr uh, we prepared uh, to answer the questions we prepared the various layers uh, so it helps to look uh, at um, two indicators at the same time and uh, to make a decision. So uh, this uh, Conto Open Street uh, building, uh, uh, building completeness map. Uh, so uh, on, the, on, one, uh, on one side we have uh, uh, co uh, population uh, density, on the other side we have a, uh, we have a uh, number, uh, we have a number of buildings uh, in the, in this uh, uh, in this very area and if uh, there are a lot of population uh, but uh, not many not many uh, not many buildings uh, on um, uh, on the uh, map uh, on the uh, on the map so uh, you get a red uh, hexagon and if everything is okay and you have a lot of uh, uh, you have a lot of buildings uh, and uh, uh so you have green uh, hexagon. Uh, so uh, this is about, uh, in general, uh, the state of the map. So I, I would say uh, number of uh, uh, number of buildings and other objects uh, that uh, that is mapped on the uh, uh, in OSM. Here, um, so uh, OSM building completeness and OSM road com road completeness. Uh, sometimes uh, it's not uh, uh, so. Uh, when when you uh, make a decision, uh, so how uh, this disaster affects how many people and uh, uh, affect uh, affected uh, with this disaster, you have to uh, you have to know where are these people, and it's uh, better to look for people when buildings are. And uh, if you have buildings, uh, probably you will have roads. And it's uh, very important to know how many roads are mapped uh, and uh, uh, how many buildings are mapped. And with, uh, with help of these two beverage layers, uh, you, can, uh, you, can find this, uh, you can find the answer. So uh, from the other side, I it's very important to know uh, how many people live on this, uh, on this very, uh, very area. And to answer these questions, uh, this question, we uh, prepare counter population uh, data set. Um, it is based on uh, like different uh, uh, different uh, data, uh, data sets from Facebook, from uh, European Union, from Microsoft. We uh, uh, like uh, process them, prepare them, and uh, uh, get for contour population data set, and now, now we have uh, version five. Uh, actually, the, the last, um, uh, the last was, uh, the last, uh, um, 
release was uh, on November 1st, 2023, and uh, we try to update it uh, at least once a year. But uh, sometimes uh, we can do it a little, a little bit faster. Oh, uh, so this time we uh, get uh, we know the issues uh, with country with to total population. It was funny because, for example, uh, in Estonia we get uh, like 1.5 million people, but actually in Estonia uh, lives a li uh, live a little bit less people, so to say, 1.3. Uh, and uh, add a uh, new location uh, this time, and uh, uh, we have a, a resolution, uh, po 400 meters resolution for our uh, country population data set. Actually, uh, when you um, when you uh, ask people to uh, to start mapping, you probably know uh, want to know if uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, people uh, and a strong local OSM community, uh, which can uh, help you map as fast as possible. And uh, if they local. Obviously, they know more about uh, about uh, the situation uh, in the in the region. So, uh, OSM mapping activity also uh, our Bavarian players uh, layer, uh, which can help to uh, which can which can help to uh, uh, to find out whether this uh, you have a lot of um, local mappers or or not uh, local. Uh, um, Local mappers are marked with, gre uh, with, gre uh, with green hexagons here. Um, also, uh, sometimes it's uh, uh, very uh, important to know um, least edited and most viewed areas at the same uh, at the same time. So, uh, for example, if you, uh, uh, we have it uh, a bit uh, like uh, people. Uh, if people uh, we, uh, we uh, find out how many people visit uh, this uh, very part of uh, of the map uh, during your uh, during last 30 days and uh, uh, show uh, how my, uh, how, uh, how long ago it was updated so uh, if uh, mm, if uh, there are a lot of people who visit this uh, this very map uh, and uh, it was uh, updated long time ago. It will mark with green. So uh, probably you need uh, you need to update uh, this uh, map. And uh, uh, we can also talk a little bit about uh, not only about disasters, but for example, nighttime heat wave, heat wave risk. Uh, risk. So uh, this map shows uh, that uh, how many uh, if there are a lot of uh, people living. Uh, in a uh, in a one play in a place where nighttime temperature uh, stay above uh, 25 centigrade uh, centigrade uh, degree, uh, degrees of Celsius. Sorry, uh, so they uh, they marked with uh, green, and it is considered to, uh, considered to be uh, like difficult to live uh, without uh, air conditioning when you have nighttime uh, temperature. Uh, above 25 centigrade. Also, we have, uh, for example, counter sea level rise uh, exposure. Uh, so it means uh, we just uh, uh, count what will happen if, for example, all uh, all the ice in the world melt down. Uh, and uh, so, from uh, as you can see, Estonia. Uh, also under risk. Some Lithuania, Netherlands, uh, uh, Black Sea regions also. Uh, also, we uh, we can show we, we can help to um, find out whether it's, uh, fires uh, happened. Uh, 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 happen uh, some, uh, somewhere in the world. So actually, uh, as far as I uh, as far as I know, it was quite difficult to uh, to find out. Uh, so as a while, uh, no, uh, a few uh, providers of uh, mm, such of such information in 
in the world, but uh, it's important, uh, we, we have to proceed this data because uh, we, uh, like, we need to find out if it's uh, normal or not. Uh, we, this hot temperature is normal or not. For example, uh, plants can pr uh, can produce a lot of uh, heat, and uh, it will be uh, shown on the map as a uh, fire. But actually, it's not just normal working process. And uh, uh, you also show, uh, for example, it's uh, if it's wildfire, you shall know uh, more information about whether it's uh, like uh, forest or not. Also, uh, we have a, uh, such kind of uh, um, layer as an administrative uh, boundary. So you can, uh, you can choose, uh, for example, a country or a any part of uh, uh, or region of this country and uh, find out how many people live here, uh, uh, territory, uh, and uh, for this uh, populated area, uh, which is uh, uh, has has no uh, has no OSM uh, OSM objects, and uh, uh, some more information like state of the map. I should, I, I should say. Uh, also, we uh, we work um, like hard to improve uh, to improve um, our uh, data sets, and you also can uh, can contribute to it. Uh, we have a, a, a disaster ninja a disaster ninja report, and for example, it it would be good if you go go to population in inconsistencies, for example, and check uh, check your country or check check your local community, whether it uh, like uh, has a, a proper data or uh, or not, and uh, uh, make uh, make correction by yourselves with the help. With, with the help of uh, uh, mm, uh, uh, with the help of editor, and so actually this is uh, this is it. Um, please visit our uh, visit our site Contour.io. Please visit our Disaster Ninja. You will have uh, like probably some uh, some insights. And uh, it would be great if you, if you send us uh, some feedback, because uh, feedback makes us work better. So, thank you. Thanks so much, Vasily. I, I wanted to show something, actually, when I was seeing the presentation. Mm -hmm. I am following up uh, the hurricane right now happen, happening in Mexico. This is in real time in the application with Finder. So what you are doing is really helpful I mean, to plan in advance also on how institutions can help the local communities to see how they can protect better. So this is hitting right now Cozumel Island and it will be hitting all the area in the Yucatan Peninsula. So uh, thanks for the presentation. Um, uh, questions? I think he went first and then Vasily. Um, you mentioned nighttime uh, heat wave risk. Yeah. Um, where do you get your uh, weather or weather prediction data from? Um, so, uh, <laughs> oh, Andre, uh, this is our JS uh, engineer who works actually with all these layers, and uh, he will help. Uh, he will help me to ask, answer the question. Yeah, maybe, maybe I can answer this question. Uh, we have a collaboration with Probable Future. Uh, this is a company who. Uh, develop models uh, to predict climate change and uh, um, different weather situation, and uh, we build our night nighttime heat wave risk layer based on their prediction. Thank you. Uh, thank you for this nice uh, presentation. I was wondering about the uh, population that you. So mm -hmm. you have. Um, built uh, this uh, population based on the data that you mentioned, but yeah. uh, is it even, uh, because if I understand correctly, you covered uh, globally, yeah. uh, so globally. is it uh, uh, even um, from one country to the other, or uh, um, 
there are differences in, in coverage because, because you know, uh, data might be different from one country to uh, the other. A and then also, uh, uh, which attributes do you have of this uh, population? Do you know where they work? So that, uh, for example, if a disaster happens during the night or during the day is different. Thank you. Um, so, um we have a population data set, yeah, it's for, for the entire world and sometimes uh, it has inconsistencies. Uh, so uh, we take also, uh, uh, for example, a census, a census for, uh, but census happened in one, uh, once in 10 years and sometimes uh, this data uh, may be, um, let's say, not fully correct, but uh, just to, uh, it's, uh, um, it's enough to make uh, to make a decision uh, on this uh, on the global level, not on the uh, on, on the level of uh, every uh, every community. Uh, and uh, one uh, the second part. Uh, okay, just uh, Andre, please. One, one second. Uh, at, at this moment, there is no different version for daytime and nighttime. Uh, we have it in plans, and we are, we made some investigation about way how to, we can build it with existing data and uh, which kind of data we should uh, achieve to build it. Uh, now we we use a approach uh, uh, when we uh, collect uh, day population. For example, if you have uh, 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 some venue where people work at the day and there is no people at night, we collect it as a uh, uh, when you're with people, because uh, uh, when disaster happens, uh, better to say that there is people, that say there, there there is no people, and they actually will be there. Thank you. We have time for one last question. Uh, uh, I know that uh, ICRC is, is quite active on, on hot OSM, right? So, uh, like Red Cross and Red Crescent societies. And oftentimes it's a bit hard to get financing in this kind of disaster response. So I was wondering uh, how you manage to, to finance your, your work and whether it's, uh, it's difficult or it's actually, like, is it partly based on donations or how does it work? Uh, so... Uh the, we create uh, we create this disaster in India for uh, hot and uh, s support it. So um, uh, as a tool for them to make uh, to make this decision. So actually we do we do not make any decisions, and we but we provide this uh, this tool for, uh, to help them uh, and uh, to like uh, to manage local uh, local and world. Uh, uh, Community to contribute uh, to for, to contribute for OSM. All right, uh, one quick question, and then we can go for lunch. Okay, everybody thanks. wants. <laughs> <laughs>